Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. To replace the door hinge rope, you will need to uninstall the dishwasher first. To do this, turn off the power to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Next, remove the screws to release the lower access panel. Pull out the sound dampening pad. Disconnect the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Remove the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. You can adjust the rear leveling legs by turning the shaft assembly screws at the front. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Next, pull down the spring to release the tension on the hinge rope you're replacing and detach the old rope from the spring and hinge. Install the new hinge rope by first hooking the appropriate end onto the spring. Now pull the spring down, loop the rope around the pulley, and hook the opposite end onto the door hinge. With the new hinge rope installed, confirm that the door opens and closes properly. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Lift the right side of the dishwasher up and support it with a wood block or a comparable sturdy object. Guide the electrical supply line under the appliance so its wires are accessible through the hole in the junction box. Now remove the support and gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. Align the cover plate and replace the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace the sound dampening pad. Replace the lower access panel and secure it with the screws. You're now ready to turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and confirm that the dishwasher is functioning properly.